It has been a spectacular year for Rohan Bopanna. As we kickstart our series for the best male athlete of the year, 2023, the first name that came to mind was Rohan Bopanna. Defying age, in fact it's no longer even relevant as far as Rohan is concerned, he had the best year of his career on the circuit. Making the final of the US Open was the high point. Thereafter, making the year-ender and the semi-final, Rohan was spectacular. On way, he had some excellent tournaments and also won the mixed doubles gold at the Asian Games to give one more important medal to the Indian kitty. Rohan has always talked about the importance of sports science, of recovery and given a lot of credit to his support cast. But this year, what also stood out about Rohan is how he showed sportsman spirit in the final of the US Open. So while we celebrate Rohan Bopanna, we also celebrate what he did in terms of hailing the spirit of sport and making it much more important than simple results. Celebrating Rohan Bopanna. Boria, first of all, lovely talking to you as always. Uh, you know, I've known you for many, many years, so really glad to be back here uh, chatting with you. Um, after all, the one major thing which comes to me, tennis started as a gentleman as a gentleman's game. You know, so at the end of the day, I've been raised, you know, to do the right thing. Uh, you know, I've, uh, you know, my parents have always. Uh, taught me that value and uh, and I, I felt the minute the ball touched me I knew it was uh, a point not for me to uh, to take and uh, you know I called it upon on myself straight away uh, and uh, I'm a kind of a person knowing that if something happened like that I, and I didn't uh, uh, claim it I probably wouldn't have slept for days and uh, you know I rather go out there um, uh, you know, playing a final and even lose a final, put my heart out and play that and lose a final, then have something like this and maybe win a tournament. That's even worse for me. So, uh, you know, so I it, I don't think even took even a second, the minute it touched, uh, you know, my elbow, I raised my hand up straight away, I think, yeah. and I told the referee, but the referee, I think, was confused on what was going on. Uh, because despite after I told her, she called the score as 15 all. Uh, and I told her, you know, the you know the ball as she touched my hand. So she, uh, she said, "Do you want to forfeit the point?" I said, "Of course, I want to forfeit the point because if I didn't want to forfeit the point, I wouldn't tell you that the ball touched my hand." So uh, yeah, but I think at that moment, uh, nobody nobody in the stands or even uh, anyone watching it live realized uh, because. It just, uh, you know, uh, flicked my elbow and, you know, went past, uh, uh, you know, Joe Salisbury there at the net. Extremely, extremely proud. I think it's, uh, uh, you know, Indian sports is on the rise. Uh, tennis is on the rise. Uh, you know, we've uh, always ma managed to somehow find a way to win gold medals in tennis and, uh, you know, I'm glad we kept that momentum going and I think it's a really big moment for Rutuja and me that uh, you know we were uh, able to get gold uh, in tennis where Ram Kumar and Saket got a silver in the, the men's double. So I think uh, uh, you know it just shows that little bit of support, little bit of help uh, you know from uh, the government, uh, the federation, everything makes such a big difference. So you know when you push it for a long period of time, there's a lot of lot of good things to happen. You already. Uh, you know, I'm at the Athlete Village meeting all the other Indian athletes and, uh, you know, getting inspired by meeting all of them. Uh, you know, I don't know when, uh, uh, you know, this will happen again. I, it's, uh, I'm not going to be playing another Asian game. So, I'm just really enjoying uh, the atmosphere in the village, talking to each and every one. And uh, it's been beautiful. Definitely um, closing on the top 10, but... Um you know, if you're doing well in the season, it is bound to happen uh, because at the end of the day, if you're winning these big events, uh, making a lot of points, uh, there's a good chance that you are going to uh, be at the top 10. Now, for me, the biggest thing is to uh, 
have an Indian representation at these big events and I really believe this is the only way we can inspire athletes from the country uh, whenever I think a young kid no matter which sport he's watching as long as he's been able to watch or maybe read uh, an athlete from his own country that's when the real inspiration happens so I really feel whatever I'm doing here whatever whenever I'm playing as long as it says Ruan Bopana India there I think it's a big win already not only for the country but you know just you know at even my academy when I'm talking to a few kids uh, and they see uh, me still representing uh, them and myself uh, you know playing at these big events and uh, when I go and talk to them uh, personally they they feel really well connected and I think this is what uh, you know can make that change uh, of constantly having representations whether it is singles or doubles at the end of the day we need representations from the country and uh, I'm really happy uh, to be able to do this and play at these big events and uh, uh, keep it going. I think that truly in, on my uh, Factor I can say age is definitely a number. I think it's the mind which really needs to push it and really believe in yourself and uh, I think that's my biggest strength. I think perseverance and my mental strength I think has really what has made that change uh, indeed Age is definitely a number indeed, but in my case a high number that I think they're probably the oldest player um, you know on the circuit currently playing uh, doubles and mixed doubles uh, so yeah so uh, but what uh, you know really keeps me going is that uh, I don't see that age has to be some limitations to you you can I think really push what is good for you what works for you and that is what uh, you know constant and perseverance of trying to find some new things to help me with my my body feeling better physically I think that is what has really kept me going um, you know the, over the years of course the tennis has brought so much of maturity but also simultaneously managing the body has brought that maturity and uh, I think that is where uh, you know it, it has kept me super super active and I'm really happy that uh, you know I've been able to adapt uh, uh, my game also uh, along the way um, you know the majority of the times I'm not even serving in volume I'm serving and staying back that's of course one of the reasons I started doing that because my cartilage on my both my knees have completely worn out so I had to adapt and find a way uh, what doesn't really hurt that much so I stopped serving all things started serving and staying back and trying to uh, you know find a way to improve my game on that aspect and yeah I've been managed to do that I think uh, a big part of that uh, game style is uh, my coach Scott Davidoff who has always helped me grow no matter which uh, juncture of my career I am so uh, yeah truly enjoying competing still and that's what is you know keeping me going Rohan will now continue 2024 with the same verve and passion or so we hope there is the Paris Olympics. Will he be there for India? We remember Rohan Bopana in Rio. We remember Rohan Bopana in London. Can he also make it to Paris? And if he does, it will be a spectacular achievement at the age of 44. With sports science doing wonders and with Rohan in really good physical shape, none of us are putting it past the ageless wonder. Rohan remains a beacon of hope for everyone around, an inspiration for us all, and we will say that he certainly has made us all proud in 2023. Rohan Bopanna, one of the five shortlisted male athletes of the year as far as Rev Sports is concerned for the year 2023.